Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. We are still going through the dog days period as I explained in one of my last week's uh, videos. And to mark the middle part or the, the midway of the dog day period, there is another water activation and meditation coming up that we can use to release toxic attachments and achieve breakthroughs, whether that be in our personal relationships, spiritually, or also obviously on a career, uh, in a career path. So the date that is very important for us this time around is the 21st of July. And um, the time that we need to take note of is 12 p.m., so just lunchtime, noontime, which is uh, when the sun is at its strongest, uh, at its most yang energy. Now, as always with these kind of things, there's no need to uh, translate this into your own time zone. It's wherever you are local time on the 21st of July the tw at 12 p.m., so at 12 noon lunchtime. Now, on that particular day, um we are celebrating the, the halfway of the dog days period. Um, for those of you who have already done the, the beginning of the dog days period, you may have already experienced some changes. Uh, this is a great period to just work on your inner self and improve your yang energy. Make sure that your vit vitality is all the way up, that you raise your yang energy and that you feel really, really good about yourself on every level, yeah, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. This is a time where we focus on our well-being, whatever that means to you. Now, on the 21st of July, there are two things that we're going to do. The first one is a water activation, and the other one that is optional, but I highly recommend it, is a meditation. So first things first, um, we need to um, implement a water feature for this water circulation activation. Now, if you do not have a, um, a water bucket, if you don't want to work with a water feature, then you can use a singing bowl as well. So on the 21st of July at 12 p.m. noontime, you place a water bucket a fairly sizable water back bucket. Yeah, we are usually using minimum of 40 liters of water, four zero. Yeah, don't just use a small bowl or, or like a nice looking so-called table fountain. They're not really useful from a feng shui perspective anyway. Uh, we need a minimum of 40 liters of water. And you place this water into the north two sector. For those of you who are uh, in Chinese metaphysics, who know something about feng shui, this is the rat sector. For those of you who are new to this, don't worry. What you do is you stand in the center of your flat and you take out a compass, you have one on your mobile phone and you check where is zero degrees. That is north, that is true north, north two. Now, plus minus five degrees is fine, which means 300 and, um, 395 to five degrees, yeah? So in that degree range, check where that is in your flat. And this is where you place the water bucket. Now the water needs to be sentimental water, uh, not aggressive water. So we're not using a fountain effect or anything. Ideally, this water looks like this. Let me just quickly show you. So uh, take a large water bucket. The color of the bucket doesn't matter. The material of the bucket or the container doesn't matter. It has to have a wide opening on top. And you insert a water pump. You can get them in any aquarium shop. You insert a water pump and put it in such a way that the water is circulating clockwise. Yeah. So on the 21st of July at 12 p.m., this is when you turn on the water pump. You can put the water bucket into the sector 15 minutes earlier. It may take some time to fill it up with water. That's perfectly fine, but don't put it there. Definitely not before 11 a.m. Uh, just around quarter to 12 or quarter to noon, put the water bucket into the north two sector. And then at uh, 12 p.m. precisely, you turn on the water pump. Make sure that it circulates clockwise. So you may have to manipulate it a little bit uh, maybe attach it to the rim of the bucket in a way that it, that this, this happens. Now, if for whatever reason this is not at all possible, if you don't know how to figure this out, don't worry, it will still work. This is just ideal because we're really, really looking for a clockwise motion here. 
Um, now, you need to leave this water feature in place for a minimum of two hours, maximum until the end of that day. So remove it at the very, very latest at 11.59 p.m. on the 21st of July. Do not leave it there until the 22nd of July. You need to remove it before the day is over. A minimum of two hours, so you can safely remove it after two hours. That's absolutely fine. It's not that the longer you keep it there, the, the better or stronger the effect. It's nothing to do with it. Just put it there, minimum two hours, then you can remove it. Now, if you do not want to work with water features, you can also use a singing bowl. Obviously, you don't fill the singing bowl with water. I get those questions sometimes. You take the singing bowl and then you stand in the North 2 Center. Yeah, at zero degrees, you stand there and you play the singing bowl. So you you take that bamboo stick and, and um, rub it around the, uh, the rim of the singing bowl for like 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, so that you have to do this for quite some time, 15 to 20 minutes, so that you're really, really filling up that sector with the nice vibration of the singing bowl. So this is also possible. Make sure that you do this in a clockwise motion. Yeah, when you when you strike that rim of the singing bowl it has to be in a clockwise motion. All right, so this is the first thing you do. Now, optionally, and I really do recommend you do this, optionally then in the same sector um, at more or less uh, zero degree, plus minus five degrees, um, you sit in that sector, you position yourself in that sector. And again, you check on your compass. And this time you have to make sure that you sit in such a way that you're facing south. Yeah, so you're sitting in the north sector here, north two. This is uh, where you are sitting right here. The further out, the better. We don't want to be too close to the center because there we have different energies. So the further out, um, you sit there and you sit in such a way that you are facing the south and backing towards the north. And then you meditate for like 15, 20 minutes on the sort of uh, toxic attachments that you want to release and let go of. Yeah, we all have them. Some have a lot of them and some of us have a little bit less. Some may be really, really painful. Uh, some are just really annoying, whatever it is, it could be toxic situations that you just keep on thinking about, toxic people, maybe you're attached to an object and it's just bothering you for whatever reason, whatever it is that you feel you're somehow attached to and it's really not bringing any value to you and it feels quite toxic and it's just bringing trouble, people, objects, situations, circumstances, whatever it is, meditate on what it is that you want to let go of and then visualize that you're just walking away from it. Yeah, just walk away from it and imagine how relieved you feel when you're doing that. Just really, really like as if a chain has been broken and you're just walking away now and you're completely free and how light you feel, how happy it makes you feel like a burden has been lifted from your shoulders. Yeah, so really, really meditate on that. Uh, take 15 to 20 minutes. And then when you feel that you're done, uh, you just, you know, count yourself up from one to five and you go about your day. And then what is really important, as always with these feng shui activations, we need to take action. Yeah, so this particular time uh, of the dog days period is all about well-being, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual well-being, which is why we need to let go of things. We need to release things. So after you have done this particular activation, it is highly recommended that within 24 to 48 hours, you um, do something that is good for your well-being. So maybe you go for an acupressure session or an acupuncture session, or you go for a massage or a spa day or a foot massage uh, even exercise is fine, but it should be something that really stimulates the meridian spots in your body. And so for that, it would be best to have a massage, a foot massage, um, acupuncture, acupressure. Those work the best. Uh, even Reiki is fine. So something that really, really stimulates those C spots, the meridian spots in your body. So just schedule something in for after you have done this particular exercise. And this will really, really help you to move into the second half of this year 
um, with much more yang energy, more vibrancy and more life force. All right. So I wish you all the best with this. Have fun with it. Enjoy taking, taking care of yourself and doing something for yourself. This is a very gentle act activation. It's, uh, it's going to make you feel good about yourself, about what you're doing for yourself. Just celebrate yourself a little bit. Uh, we're, we're not doing that enough. And so this is a month where it's all about taking care of yourself. So um, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, share the video uh, with anybody who may be interested, subscribe to my channel. And of course, as always, if you do have questions, put them in the comment section below, or you can contact me. My email address is in the description of this video. All right, see you guys soon.